You know what's happening right now? Is Desert Bus for Hope. Part 5. Now, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but if I do post it while it's still going on, you should go to desertbus.org. That's desert, D-E-S-E-R-T, B-U-S dot org. O-R-G. And, uh, O-R-G. Uh, and check it out. And put some money to those donations for Child's Play Charity. They do some good work there, man. They give uh, video games and toys to kids who might not be able to afford such things, who might be going through some serious pain and anguish at this point in their lives. But, en uh, but enough about the pain and the anguish. I'm about to deliver some pain and anguish to some penguins. I'm making these penguins extinct, bitch. These penguins are my bitch. So are these bombs coming up. These ones, yeah. Just like so. It's like clockwork. It's like clockwork orange. Where's Malcolm McDowell when you need him? Come and get one in the yobbles. If you have any yobbles. <laughs> now what can work on these guys? Actually, I think... Ah, you bastard. I think the trick is to actually take out as many as you can before using the guts on the blocks and destroying them as so. There we are. Oh shit, I can't jump over that one. It sucks. Wah. Okay, where's another one? Oh shit, I keep jumping into them. Oh my god, that was awful. It's like I wanted to get hit. It's like I wanted to die. Oh, at least I start right here. I start right at the boss. Right at the boss. Boss time. This is boss. B-O-S-S. B-A-W-S-E. Bows. Ah, I almost had him. I'm gonna have this one. <laughs> I have my name on that one. It said Armageddon time all over it. The ones that come from the distance. I'm gonna rock their faces off. Wow, Mega Man, you got a serious trigger finger, am I right? Oh, that was close. And again, look at that, I didn't even need Guts Man. You're a wash. I'm going all limp wristed on you all of a sudden, like, Pafui. That's silly talk. Oh, the next level. Oh, next level. What have you done that I haven't done? Probably lost your virginity. Oh, wait. I've done that, too. All right. High five to Armageddon time. The time. <laughs> Actually, no, it's been a while. I don't want to get too involved in that. It's, yeah, just because it's personal business. Hey, hey, yay. What's the matter for you? Hey. There we go. I shouldn't use so much M on that section, though. I'm a little worried now. Yeah, because I'm getting stupid damage right here. That was very stupid damage. No damage here? Excellent. Oh, I didn't even see that one. What about this one? Nope. Hugging the corner there. Making double sure, making triple sure, making quadruple sure. Nothing bad happens to me. And I could have jumped on that, but no. Playing is safe. Actually, I'm going to play it very safe. Equipped M. Just in case bad things happen. Because Mega Man does not deserve bad things. Mega Man deserves only good things. Dr. Light went through a lot of hell to make him. And actually, I'm going to sit here and wait. I'm going to wait here like a patient lad as that thing goes all the way back to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. To actually come back so I can hop on it and receive the Yashishi. There we are. So everything is completely fully charged except for the M which I just, just used. So we can now take on these bosses Hopefully somewhat confidently. So here we face Bomb Man, Fire Man, his obvious weakness. 
So we, uh, whoa! Wow, that was actually effortless. EFFORTLESS, I tells ya! But Fireman, he's a little, he requires a little more effort. Requires the power of ice! ICE TO SEE YOU! See you at the party, Richter! And other such references to Arnold. To crush enemies, hear the lamentations of women. And other such things. So let's see, um, Elect Man, I believe. And we're gonna do is do this famous trick to reduce the amount of uh, ammo required to defeat him. Guts Man? Yeah! Who's got guts? I got guts. And what defeats guts? Bombs! And. Jeez, man. This dude won't take no for an answer. Whoa! Shoot! Woo! That was close! Look at that. No damage. We are pro. We are perfection. We are gods incarnate. <laughs> what to uh, recharge? What's the thing that's least recharged? Fire. I forget what actually works on this guy, but it's the last boss. It's Dr. Wily. So we're going to use every goddamn weapon we have in our arsenal. Actually, what might work the best is the, the Elect Man trick. Yeah, use it on the tip. That's just the tip. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all, that's all that works. And then you just keep at it. As, uh, and because we're kind of blimping in and out of existence, it doesn't work on us. <laughs> because we're just continually phasing in and out of existence. See, check it out. Watch this. I shouldn't get hit here. Well, it did work for a time. But oh well, what are you going to do? <laughs> pretty much dead here you have to I guess I have to wait a little while there we go you got to hit it with the tip and I'm destroyed with within one hit one inch of my life that's great how many more lives do I have to take on Wily None! Awesome! So in that case, we'll recharge our E. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it for the next section, kids! Look, guys, I bleed through the wall here. Oh, hey, you look very familiar, Mr... Oh, there you are, Mr. Wild E. Coyote? It's supposed to be a reference to something? As to how stupid and goofy you are? No, you're not goofy. That's that's another character. There we go. As we whittle down your life. And see, if you keep hitting the start button, nothing happens. Start, 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 or er, select button. Sorry, except you get this weird sound effect. And I don't think this effect is working very well. Like, yeah, occasionally I can see it working, but his life is really going down very slowly. So I get the feeling that there's some other weapon that works better on him. But I don't know what it is. And I don't know. And I think a Mega Man's about to get hit. I don't know. It's kind of phasing in and out of existence. I don't know if you guys can tell what it is. But, oh my god, it's right above his head. Right above Mega Man's head, right at this very moment. Oh, well. Come on, beat him! Beat him and eat him! That's another game for the Atari 2600. We don't want to play that one. And that... I didn't mean to hit that. Okay. I think Cutman works on this one. Does it? Uh, somewhat works. What else works on this sucker? The, uh... Alec? 
Oh, this seems to work pretty well. It's the same old trick, though. Unfortunately, you're just gonna be me cheesing out the boss. But I do. I am low on life. He still technically has more life than me. I don't know how much more I can actually deal with this one simple beam before he strikes me again. So, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> actually, no, he's quite low on life now. Maybe he'll die? Yeah! Boom! We just beat Wily! Fuck you, Dr. Wily. You're never gonna hurt us ever again. Except for the millions and billions of other games that you're gonna be in, because this is merely the first of your many follies. And these aren't even your own goddamn robots. All you did was kind of tweak with them a little bit. It's like playing with a toaster, so instead of toasting bread, it toasts toast. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because you can't toast toast. It's already toast! Am I right? A little reference to Necro VMX's spiel there. That he had somewhere. Uh, Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to PEACE! You hear that, motherfuckers? However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. So watch yourselves. Fight, Mega Man, for everlasting peace! Is that some kind of meme? Because if it is, I don't understand it. It's completely out of my league. I don't understand. Because I am... Not a Mega Man fan. He is running to the left. Why is he running to the left? I am not understand. Hey, wait, he's actually morphing. It's morphin' time! Tyrannosaurus! And he's becoming a real boy? Mechanical boy? I don't know. Sorry, I was throwing out some old eye drops. I got a new batch to start. It's the new batch. This is like Gremlins 2. It's like a... It's like the precursor to something. The precursor to Mega Man 2, you might say. Like, uh, Capcom puts out this game and is like, Oh, Jesus, I hope this sells. And it did sell. But for some reason, Mega Man 2 took a while. It took a couple years for them to be like, Okay, fine. You guys can do it, but you have to do it on your own. And that's why... Mega Man 2 is so kick-ass because it was like an independent effort as opposed to an effort based on Cap what Capcom thinks is going to sell to people. So anyway, there you go. There's a, me playing through Mega Man 1 again because I know how much you liked it the first time. So there you go. It's Armageddon time playing through, playing through the game, playing through the game. And I beat the game. And there's Mega Man game with the USA. See y'all out!